hello welcome to the area solution channel in this video we'll be looking at um, an example in the topic motion of several particles and we shall be working through a particular problem that borders on relative motion and to do that we're going to walk through this example that involves two vehicles a and b which are driving towards each other on the adjacent sides of a road and at time t equal to zero the distance between them was 0.5 kilometers and their speeds were um, one of them ua is equal to 144 kilometer per hour while the other one was moving in the opposite direction at 72 kilometer per hour and they were at point pa and pb respectively given that a passes point pb 10 seconds after b was there and B passes point PA 20 seconds after A was there. We're to determine the uniform accelerations of both vehicles. Then we're to find the time when the vehicle passes each other and the speed both cars were moving at that time when they passes each other. So to work through this problem, let's um, start by bringing out our coordinate system. Um, say from origin along the x direction and initially the vehicle one of them was at the origin point zero and the second was at another position and then um, the vehicle that was at the origin was moving at a speed of 144 kilometer per hour in the direction of the x axis so we take that as positive and if we convert that to si unit we have 40 meters per second um, and in the same vein the second one was moving in the opposite direction that's a direction away from the direction of the x axis at 72 kilometer per hour and if we take that to si unit we get minus 20 meter per second mind you it is minus because it's moving in the opposite direction and the first vehicle was at zero position so we say the initial position of vehicle a is zero and the distance between both vehicles is 0.5 kilometers so we can as well say the second vehicle that's vehicle b was at um, 0 0.5 kilometers from the origin at time zero which is um, also equal to 500 meters then also we said we're told that after 10 seconds vehicle a was at the point pb where vehicle b was initially so we had that that's the final position of vehicle a will be 0 0.5 kilometers which is 500 meters while at, at t equal to 20 seconds vehicle b got to the point where vehicle A was initially. And that point, we know that's um, zero position. So we have that S final, that's the final position of vehicle B, will be zero. And that will take place when the time is 20 seconds. And of course, we're told to look for the acceleration component of each of the vehicle. So we know there are different relations that, there are different equations that relates um, the different variables that describe a particular motion under a linear motion. And we have that one of them is that S is equal to U plus half AT square. And let's not forget, we are supposed to add the initial position of the object or the particle when we are doing this analysis. So we have that our F X final is equal to X initial plus UT plus half AT square, all for vehicle A. So if we impute all the variables that we have into that equation, we can easily evaluate our acceleration from that equation to be equal to 2 meter per second. And if we do same for vehicle B, if we bring in our equation where we have S final is equal to S initial plus UT plus half AT square, and if we impute all the variables that we have into the equation, we can easily evaluate the acceleration for the second vehicle B to be minus 0.5 meter per second. So by so doing, we've gotten our acceleration for the vehicle A to be 2 meter per second square, while the acceleration of the vehicle B is minus 0.5 meter per second square. That is to say the acceleration is in the direction that is away from the X axis. And then also we are told to look for the time the vehicle passes each shoulder. 
At that time, we need to call our relations, that's our equation for relative motion, relative position of two vehicles. Let's say it's X, A, B. S, A, B will be equal to S, B minus A. And we're looking for the time that the two vehicles passes, passes each other. We're going to have that this particular relative position will be zero because the position of S, A will be equal to the position of S, B. So we have S, A, B to be equal to zero. So if we such that S, S, B minus S, A will be equal to zero. If we bring in our previous equation back into this equation for relative motion, we have one singular equation that relates all the distance, the, that relates the position of the two vehicles together. So if we call in our variables that we already had, the velocity, the position, initial position, and the acceleration, as well as the same for vehicle B. If we impute them into the singular equation for relative motion and we evaluate it, we'll be able to get one simple quadratic equation which we can solve using any suitable method, whether the formula method or um, factorization, whatever method is suitable to get our value for t. And we have two answers, one is minus 55.24 and the other is 7.24. And of course, we know that time cannot be negative, so we have our time t to be equal to 7.24 seconds. And that's the time that the two vehicles will pass each other, given the condition, given the initial conditions and all the variables of the, res of the motion of the respective vehicles. Then finally, we're told to look for the speed of that vehicles when they collided. To find the speed of the vehicles, we've been given, we've estimated the value for time. We bring in our equation that relates velocities, acceleration, and time. And we have all the variables for the first vehicle, that's A, vehicle A. We have our initial velocity, we have our acceleration that is constant, 2 meter per second square. So if we use our equation, we can easily work out our value of velocity, putting in the value of time t equal to 7.24 seconds and we get our velocity at that time to be 54.48 meters per second. If we do the same for vehicle B, we impute the variables that we have into the equation for velocity. We can evaluate it simply to get our velocity of vehicle B to be minus 23.62 meter per second. Mind you, the value of minus 23.62 indicates that the vehicle is moving in the direction that is away from the x-axis. So we've gotten our velocities for vehicle A and velocity for vehicle B when the two vehicles collided against themselves, against each other. Now, um, considering another kind of problem that looks like the previous one, but with similar procedure, we're going to solve this. For this case, the same two vehicles A and B, we are driving in the same direction on the same side of the road. However, this time around, they were moving in the same direction as against the previous example that we saw where they were moving against each other. We're told that at time t equal to zero, the distance between them was 0 0.5 kilometers and the speed were 144 kilometers per hour and then um, 72 kilometers per hour respectively. And they were at points PA and PB as well. Then given that a passes point PB 10 seconds after B was there and B covered the same distance after 20 seconds. That is to say, vehicle B would travel the same distance, which is 0 0.5 kilometers after 20 seconds. We are told to determine the uniform accelerations of the vehicles A and B when the vehicles passes each other and the speed of both cars at that time. Now, for this case, the difference between the previous one we solved and this one is that for of course, they are both moving in the same direction. So for the first vehicle, we have our velocity to be 40 meters per second. When we convert to SI units, we have our initial position to be zero and time is equal to 10 seconds. Then we have our final position of the first vehicle to be 500 meters. We're told to look for the acceleration. We just bring in our equation for calculating acceleration, just like the previous case. We can evaluate easily to get our value of acceleration to be two meters per second squared. However, we're told that the second vehicle was moving, of course, because it is in the same direction. This time around, let's note that our velocity is going to be 20 meters per second. As 
against the previous case that we had minus 20 meter per second because the vehicle was moving in the opposite direction of the x axis for this case we had our initial velocity for vehicle b to be 20 meter per second and let's note it is positive because the vehicle is moving in the same direction as the s axis so it's going to be positive unlike the previous example where we had negative values because the vehicle was moving in the opposite direction of the first vehicle and we have our initial position of course is 500 meters because both vehicles they are 500 meters away and we have the time to be 20 seconds we're told at 10, at 20 seconds this vehicle had covered an equivalent distance that vehicle a covered after 10 seconds which is 500 meters so we have our final position to be 500 meters which it was initially plus 500 meters that is going to travel making the current position of vehicle b to be 1000 meters and once that is done if you call in your equation that relates initial positions to velocity time and acceleration and we input all the variables that we have we can easily evaluate our value of acceleration to be 0.5 meter per second square so for this case we have our acceleration of vehicle a to be 2 meter per second square while our acceleration of b to be minor to be positive 0.5 meter per second square positive means it is it is the same it is in the direction of the positive x axis so we're looking for the time the two vehicle passes each other and to evaluate that we know that our relative position sb minus sa is going to be zero and of course if it is going to be zero we have the values we have the equations for sb and sa and we have the values of all variables for vehicle a and all variables for vehicle b so if we input all these into the singular into the equation for relative motion and evaluate we get one singular quadratic equation which we can which we can solve using any suitable method whether the formula method or by factorizing to get our time to be minus 42.39 and 15.73 seconds because time cannot be negative we have our value for time to be 15.73 seconds and finally to estimate the speed of the cars when they collided we have our, our equation for velocity to be to be v equal to u plus 80 we have all our variables u and a and the values of time so if we input that into like into our equation we get our value for our velocity to be 71.45 meter per second square and likewise we have our variables for vehicle b if we put all that into the equation for velocity which is v equal to u plus 80 and if we evaluate it we get our velocity to be 27.86 meter per second so we've gotten our velocity for vehicle a and our velocity for vehicle b also we could be given the problem in another form where the two vehicles are moving in the same direction at time t equal to zero the distance between them is 0.5 kilometers as well vehicle a starts moving from rest while vehicle b was already moving at a constant speed and they were both at point p a and p b respectively Given that A passes point B, point PB 10 seconds after B was there, we're told to determine the uniform accelerations of the vehicle A when the vehicle passes each other and the speed of both vehicles. The difference between this problem and the, and the previous ones is that vehicle A starts from rest, while vehicle B is moving with a constant speed. So this will eventually affect the equations, it eventually affect our equations as some of the variables has been changed. So to work through this problem, we're going to bring in all that we have. For this case, our initial velocity is zero for vehicle A, and the initial position is zero as well. And we have at 10 seconds, it has traveled through the 0 0.5 kilometers, which is 500 meters. And if we're to look for acceleration, we bring in our equation for calculating our position at every point in time. And if we input all our variables that we've already identified into the equation and simplify, we we'll get our value for acceleration to be one meter per second square. If we do the same for, for vehicle B, we're told that it's moving at a constant speed. For this case, it's going to be 20 meters per second because it's in the direction of the x-axis. And um, we said because the speed is constant, so our acceleration B of vehicle B is going to be zero. So we've gotten our values for accelerations for both vehicles to be one meter per second square and zero meter per second square, respectively, for A and B. Then the time the vehicle passes each other 
is um, just to call in our equation for relative motion sb minus sa is equal to zero because the difference in their position at that point in time where they are passing each other is going to be zero and if we impute our equations for sb and s into the relative motion equation we get one singular equation so if we bring in our values for both vehicles both vehicle a and vehicle b and we put them into the relative equation motion and we'll get one singular equation which we can simplify to get a quadratic equation and once we solve this quadratic equation using any suitable method maybe formula method or whatever method that is most suitable you get our values for time to be 34.49 and minus 14.49 seconds and because time cannot be negative our value for time would be 34.49 seconds when they collided we have our time t equal to 34.49 seconds and we have our velocity to be v equal to u plus a t if we bring in our values of um, initial velocity and acceleration for vehicle a and we put them into our equation for velocity and simplify we'll get our velocity to be 34.49 meter per seconds if we do same for, for vehicle b we remember because vehicle b was moving at a constant speed so a is equal to zero meter per second and if you put that into the equation v equal to u plus 80 and simplify you get v is equal to 20 meter per second at every point in time the velocity or speed of, of car b is 20 meter per second because it's moving at a constant speed so so far we've seen how the problem may change based on what is given to us and then um, right now i want to present this practice problem for you to walk through it this, this is similar to the first example we solved however for this case some of the variables were, were altered for this particular problem we're given the velocities we're given the accelerations of both vehicles and we're asked to look for the distance between the two vehicle pa and pb initially when the vehicle and the time when the vehicle passes each other as well as the speed of both vehicles at that time and finally the time it took for vehicle b to get to point a so these are some of the things we're to look for for this practice problem so i want you to try your hands on this and just as i said it's similar to the previous example that we solved i want to thank you for watching please do well to subscribe to my channel and see you in the